Hi everyone, welcome to DevOps Tricks. Hope you are having a great day. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what is DevOps. Everyone in the IT industry these days is talking about DevOps. Lot is being written about it. Lot of events, conferences are taking place and lot of new training programs are evolving. So the buzz is understandable. IT groups world over are looking for a way out of a mix up they are all caught up in. What is that mix up? The mix up is around the delayed projects and questionable quality of the deliverables that are being produced and also missed deliveries. So while they are in this caught up in this kind of mess. So a lot of organizations such as Facebook, Netflix, LinkedIn, Etsy, these kind of organizations have embraced DevOps in a very matured way and started applying the principles of DevOps and they're able to get that competitive differentiations by enabling their teams to deliver higher quality software faster. That's the key point. So DevOps, because of these successful organizations, the rest of the industry is looking up to this concept called DevOps and thus DevOps has become the industry standard for software development. So what is DevOps really? So before we really understand what is DevOps, let us actually understand what DevOps is not. DevOps is not a methodology or process. DevOps is not a tool or technology like a lot of people are projecting it to be. And also DevOps is not about development and operations, though the word is a combination of development and operations. So that is how this new word came about as DevOps. But DevOps is not just development people and operations people working together. It doesn't make DevOps. And DevOps is not certainly only about cloud-based technologies or software as a service kind of industries. And also a lot of people project is, okay, learn DevOps and then you will be able to do something. No, DevOps is not about learning something and be able to do something. So then let us understand what is really DevOps. So DevOps is primarily about a culture. And what is that culture? In DevOps cultures, all participants of a software de delivery team that is comprising of the business people, the product owners, the development team, the testers, the operations team, they participate collaboratively, communicate consistently and produce a software. The culture is all about DevOps and all these cross-functional teams, they work with a purpose, with a shared goal. And what is that shared goal? The shared goal is to produce rapidly a stable, high quality software from concept to customer. So how this is being kind of evolved? If you look at software development over a last few decades, the old way of developing software or the traditional way of developing software using methodologies such as waterfall life cycles or some of the sequential life cycles. How the teams were organized in those things. Like there is a business analysis team or the product owners in the agile world we call them. They have an idea about a feature or functionality that can be taken to the end user and they work in a silo and they share that knowledge information to developers and these developers will design the software and start coding the software once they code and whatever checks they do they hand over the software to the testing teams or the QA quality assurance teams and once the quality assurance teams complete their job and software has reached a decent level of maturity they hand over the software to the operations people who take responsibility to bring the system to life. So between these teams, though they are all working with the same goal of creating an idea and taking that idea into the hands of end users, but all these different set of people were working in silos. There is a wall between them and we used to refer to those walls as walls of confusion. Then in 2000s, what happened? There is a significant development movement that happened and we call it as agile development method. And in the agile development method, one of the things we have done is that we have 
broken the walls between the business teams, the development teams and the testing teams. And Agile has helped world over software development team, teams to produce software in a very uh, frequent manner, in an iterative manner. But still, even in Agile, there is a wall of confusion that exists between the development team and the operations team. Though in Agile, we are able to produce the software very rapidly because the software has to be made available to the end user and operations teams work with a different purpose the software is not being taken to the end user as swiftly as it is needed. That is where the DevOps kind of solves the problem and DevOps aims at breaking that wall of confusion that still existing between the development team and the operations team and combining and making all of them to work together. That's we are calling it as DevOps. So fundamentally now coming back and we are in the DevOps era what is really DevOps all about? So as we have been talking, DevOps is primarily about culture. And since DevOps is a cultural thing, technically it does not require automation. Though when we talk about DevOps, when we try to understand about DevOps, a lot of new tools, technologies are coming into play. So what is the relation between DevOps and this new set of automation tools? So to enable DevOps culture, we need a new set of tools. So however, automation of software development, testing and deployment through continuous delivery mechanism is widely recognized as a key enabler of DevOps. So there is a relationship between DevOps culture and the new breed of automation tools. So automation enables organizations to deliver software more quickly. while ensuring the production teams or the operations teams can have sufficient confidence in what is being deployed and the customers get the quality and also the required security and stability that they require. So DevOps, while it's a culture, the new breed of tools and technologies have to be intelligently leveraged and used. So to in order to accomplish a significant improvements and establish the right kind of DevOps culture in your organization, agile methods, continuous integration practices and continuous delivery practices, they provide the foundation for DevOps transformation. So you have to really understand agile extremely clearly, the continuous integration and the practices around that very clearly and also the continuous delivery mechanisms very clearly. So just to give a recap of what is DevOps, yes, good organizations leading high performing organizations have established the DevOps practices and gaining significant amount of competitor advantage. And it has become the real important buzzword these days and we need to look at in a very clear manner. So the aspiring professionals, they have to understand the DevOps in a very clear manner. As I told you, DevOps is not about tools and technology. It is not about process and methodology. It is not about learning something and being able to do instantly something, but it is all about culture. And this culture is enabled by intelligent tools and technologies like agile methodologies, the continuous integration practices, continuous delivery practices. So please keep that in mind. In the next video, we'll talk about what is continuous delivery. Thanks. Hope you have enjoyed 